Hey guys, it's Elizabeth Finding Elizabeth, and this is Friday, July 13th, 2018. And I am right at four years, three months post op vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I had a lot of uh, subscribers over these last few months when I haven't been that active, so I'm gonna say the whole spiel, which is my highest weight in January of 2014 was 402 pounds. I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy on um, April, uh, 14th, 2014 at 360.6 pounds. My lowest weight in this journey was like 198 pounds for a hot minute, about 18 months to two years post-op, I think. Um, I maintained between 205 and 210 for the majority of the time. My highest regain, which was probably a couple weeks ago, was, uh, to 237 pounds and Right now, uh, last week when I came in to you, uh, I was 235.8, and yesterday, which is my official weigh-in, I was 229.8. Yeah. So, it's a six-pound loss this week. It's a lot of it's uh, water weight, and that I was doing all of the bad, all of the bad eating. Um, my goal right now is to get to 205 pounds, which is the point where I can have a consult with, or Kaiser will refer me for a plastic surgery consult there. Um, I think getting to like the two teens will be relatively easy now that I'm back on keto and on track. I think it's going to be that rest of that to 205, which is going to be real, which is going to be a struggle. I'm not going to say it's going to be a struggle, which is going to come easily and effortlessly when I do the right things. Right, right, right. Um, so from a food perspective, I'm doing keto. Um, started back pretty strict keto, um, last week and Obviously, that works for me for the majority of my weight loss journey. I haven't done keto per se, but I have been pretty low carb. Uh, I would say the majority of the time, except for this last year, I was 50 carbs or less a day, and I never really worried about fat. Um, I didn't eat low fat products. I didn't worry about butter and half and half or cream or whatever. It wasn't um, wasn't a thing that I worried about. So I know that that works for me. So that is what I am doing. I want to give a couple shout outs before I go into all the things. Um, shout out to my friend Amy. Watch Amy run. I don't even know if her YouTube channel is up anymore, but she's one of my closest friends. And after forever uh, dissing on the keto, she's doing it and she's doing amazing. And she started exercising again and she is just so happy. And I like that. And also to Nirvana and beautiful Alicia, I am very behind on videos, but I have seen your pictures on Facebook and you both look amazing. So wanted to shout that out. From an exercise perspective, I did go back to personal training this week on Tuesday. Um, again, some background on that. I started um, strength training as soon as I was released post surgery. So like six weeks post-op, I started strength training. My um, nephew, is a trainer and I did that pretty consistently up until the last two years and then it was kind of hit and miss and then it was totally miss and now he's opened up a new gym which if you're in this area it's surf uh, surf city CrossFit in Huntington Beach you should check it out they are awesome so went back to him he went really easy on me, but I am sore as hell. I want to incorporate exercise um, five times a week, some kind of movement. I'm not there yet. I was supposed to go back Thursday, and I just couldn't do it. I'm having a little grace with myself right now because I am just a little over one week post um, separation or whatever from the man I have been living with for almost a year. And those of you who have followed this journey for a while know that the last time that happened I was so not okay for such a long time and I really am okay but it's a change it's a real shift in my life 
and I miss him. And so I'm trying to have some grace with myself and really have my priority on the eating and start, um, start putting this stuff in because in all honesty, I've had a really hard time sleeping lately. And when I sleep, I want to sleep and uh, I don't want to get up at five o'clock in the morning. So, but we will, um, we will get back. I, we, I will get back to where I was from an exercise perspective. So I want to talk about the, I mean, this whole last year has been a shocker to me in terms of how much emotion and my feelings play into my eating disorder. And I don't know if before, yeah, I don't know if I say eating disorder, disordered eating, I don't know, whatever, but I don't know if before this last year I really had any idea. So, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to phrase this. Well, here's the one thing that I noticed is, so, the last few months, I really, and that's when I hit my highest uh, weight gain, the last few months, I, you know, I knew that either... He was going to get a job somewhere else or I was probably going to have to make some changes and this relationship was going to have to change the form that it was in. And I think that I was so afraid of how that was going to feel when it happened that I just completely shut down. I didn't, I, those of you who know me for a while know, I think, I deep think about all the things. Well. I have had less time and opportunity to do that over this last year and because, and particularly this last, this last month. And so it's been a week and <laughs> I've had some time to do that and to think about things and to realize some things. And I see that this last, these last few months, I was just so afraid because I really fell apart the last time we separated. No lie to anybody who knows me can tell. I totally was a hot mess for a very extended period of time. And I was really scared about what was going to happen when this relationship changed for me. I'm not going to say it ended because, you know, I... I love him a lot. I love his daughter a lot. And I think we are still going to stay part of each other's lives to some degree. But it's just a different form of relationship. So, during that period of time, during these last three months, I really found myself eating all the things, drinking all the things, you know, not feeling just so not happy with myself and the choices that I was making. And what was so amazing to me is, so we had this really long extended goodbye because he, he had to, uh, he got a new job, had to start working pretty much right away. So he, the first, and his daughter was with us for a month. So the first weekend he left when he started work, that was, I had the emotional goodbye. And then his daughter was with me. His parents were coming to visit. And there was a lot of activity um, in the house. But then he came back that weekend. And that was when he really, you know, he had a new place. And he was starting to pack up all the things. And uh, so that was another sad goodbye when he went to go back to work that day. But still his daughter was with me. And, um, and then 4th of July... He came to um, take his daughter back to her mom's and to get the rest of, you know, most of the rest of his stuff. And then it was quiet. So it was this really sort of extended emotional sad time, but so different from how I was sad last time. And all of a sudden my house was quiet. And all of a sudden, it was just me for the first time in a really long time. And 
I cried a lot. I was sad. I, you know, I love him. I love his daughter and I miss the shit out of them. But what I realized really quickly, because on the 4th of July, the day he left, I had a, I, I might have said this last week, but, uh, around in the afternoon I had this really fierce knock on the door and I was like what the hell that sounds like the police why would the police be coming here and I go look out the door and it's Gracie and Joelle with donuts and wine because donuts and wine because they are the best <sighs> and even by that afternoon when the day before I ate all the donuts even by that afternoon, I was not craving food or alcohol. It was like, I could be sad, and all of a sudden, I am not trying to stuff all these emotions with food and alcohol. And I'm not saying I haven't done that. I haven't had that urge at all in this last week. But it has changed so dramatically from what it was the past couple months. It's like, I do not feel the need to use food or alcohol in that way. And I hope that remains consistent. I'm really watching my alcohol use during this time while I'm adjusting to this change because I don't think it helps um, when you're sad and emotional. So it's just, it, it was a real wake up call to how much my emotional state and well-being is um, still controlled by my emotions. So, you know, am I happy about where I'm at? Weight-wise, no. No, not at all. But I'll tell you what, this year was super important to me. I learned so many things about myself, myself in relation to other people. And, you know, I would say, I would truly say this, that, you know, the first time he and I split up, my heart was shattered into a million zillion pieces. But, you know, this time I feel like it's sort of mended because really of all the love that came about as a result of this relationship, particularly with his daughter, who I absolutely um, adore, it was, I think I had it the, <laughs> the year in between when we weren't speaking, I think I had it uh, sort of taped together with not very sticky tape, my heart. And now it really truly feels mended and stronger and ready for what's next and having an idea of what I really want in a relationship and a partnership and that feels really good. But weight wise, physical fitness wise, of course I am not happy about it, but here's the thing. Even though we have weight loss, I'm not gonna say we have weight loss surgery on your stomach, not on your head. But even though we have weight loss surgery, life is going to happen. Things are going to come up, and we have used these habits around food our entire lives, most of us. Um, and there are going to be times when you go back to that, and I don't want to say it's okay necessarily, but it, it is what it is. It's going to happen. And the key, I think, is just getting back on the horse because there's one thing I know now that I didn't before weight loss surgery is I know how to do this. I know what works for me. I know what feels healthy. I know what I need to do for my body to feel and look its best and pick it up and you get back on the horse and you do what you know you need to do and you get up as many times as you need to because that's just life, right? I missed you guys immensely. I love you. I'm looking forward to reconnecting a bit. Probably not at the same level I was at before, but um, missed you guys. And thank you for all the comments last week and messages on Instagram and all the things. I am really happy to be back. Love you guys. Bye.